better than this. They're here to protect me. This will be confusing. It will make you feel stupid. It will make you feel like what is happening is not really happening. It will make you feel like you did something wrong. I watched my best friends, Elisa, Esther, and Swati. We were on holiday. We took the boat together from Bukavu to Goma. We were joking around a lot on the boat, Lake Kivu. It's a really big lake. It takes five hours sometimes to cross it. We were drinking Fanta's and making fun of Esther's big, crazy hair. We were going to go to Goma to swim and hang out. We went shopping. Swati bought these really cool pair of gold sandals. I remember thinking that I really wanted them, but I didn't want her to think I was copying her. As we walked out of the store and down the street, it just didn't seem real. I mean, we were just shopping, and now these crazy soldiers? That's why we didn't run. I, I mean, I wanted to run, but I didn't want to leave my friends. When we tried to refuse, that's how we, well, that's how we really understood how serious it was. One of the soldiers, the really big one, he started beating Elisa and she was screaming. My best friends were all screaming and just crying. I got really quiet. That's what I do. I was going to let those soldiers know anything. Which leads to rule number two. Never look at him when he is raping you. Oh, he will call your name in that grating, craving voice. He will beg you to look. He will turn your head with his big, rough, dirty hands. Never move your eyes to his. Close them if you have to. He is nothing. He isn't even there. He's a tiny, teeny, meaningless speck. He doesn't even exist. Three, build a hole inside yourself and move into it. Oh, he will be on top of you. He will smell disgusting like the woods or alcohol. He will hold his hand over your mouth. You're a virgin. You're only 15. He will tell you no one is coming. Imagine you are dancing. Think of your favorite song. Think of your mother calling your voice, Marta, Marta. Four, never open any door to him. Reject the food he brings you, spit on it. Refuse to eat a stupid fish. Tell him your family would never eat fish out of the water. When in public, he will want you to smile and act like a proper wife, even though he already has one. Never smile. Roll on the ground in the ugly, expensive penne he brings you. Never laugh at his jokes. He will be shoving himself into you. Sometimes he will do this three or four times a day. It will not be painful after the first 20 times. Your insides will no longer belong to you. Sometimes he will wear cologne. Beware. That smell will make you sympathetic. Do not give way to it. You will begin to feel something for him. It's natural after six months. It's nothing more than habit or accident. It has nothing to do with Claude. By the way, never use his name. When you speak to him, only call him him or you. You move over. You leave me alone. He will tell you things about himself. Never act like you were interested. Five, his sadness is none of your business. Sometimes he will seem so sad. All the bad things he has seen and done. You will feel bad for him. You will feel everything he feels and doesn't feel. You have been a slave for almost two years. You will start to think there is no one else. This is your life. He is the only person who's ever going to love me. When you start vomiting, one morning you will be sure he has poisoned you. Then it will pass and it will happen again, and slowly you will realize you are pregnant with this baby. He will tell you if you even think of aborting it, he will kill you. Refuse to take care of his baby. Six, it doesn't matter if you get caught, better die trying to be free. When the opportunity reveals itself, flee. Count on miracles. When you run, you will take your baby with you because deep down inside you have always known she's yours. You will take her clothes and nothing else. You will start to run and your legs will be strong like a strong person's legs and you will be clearer and better than you have ever thought before. And you will hear your mother calling you, Marta, run! And you will make the bus at the exact right moment and you will not look out the window because you know the four bodyguards who have watched you like a hawk for two years are already there but you are in your hole and no one can see you. And you will hide with your baby in your cousin's house, the house you would have stayed on on your holiday, and Claude will come with the four other soldiers and they will search and destroy and everything, and your baby will not cry, and you will be invisible. And the next day you will make it to the boat, and as it is pulling out from the shore, you will not be breathing, and you will see him and the others on the dock asking and looking for you, and someone will point to the boat, and you will know he has found you even though
though you were in your home, and a captain on the boat will suddenly be standing next to you, and he will ask you one single question. How old are you? And then he will talk as if it is the first time you have spoken. And you will be surprised at how loud and crazy you sound. And you will say things like, I am 17. He took me when I was 15. He raised me three times a day. He gave me diseases and he made me pregnant. If you turn this boat back, I will throw myself into the lake. I will drown myself. I will be okay dead. And I will take his baby with me. And the captain will put one hand on your shoulder. And you will see a light in his eyes that you identify as pity, and he will not turn back. Seven, do not feel guilty about how happy you feel when you hear he is dead. After six months back at home in your beloved Bukavu, you will run into two soldiers from the camp and they will be really surprised at how well you look. And they will tell you that Claude got killed and you will say, God did something good. And at that moment, milk will pour into your breast, and you will love your baby. I went on a vacation for two days. I didn't come back for two years. Eight, no one can take anything from you if you do not give it.